Ferdinand de Saussure, a Swiss linguist, is considered one of the founding figures of modern linguistics and semiotics. His most influential concepts, particularly from his seminal work course in general linguistics, have shaped various fields, including structuralism, post-structuralism, and literary theory. Here are some of his greatest concepts. Long and parole. Long refers to the overall system or structure of a language, including grammar, syntax, and rules shared by a community of speakers. Parole refers to the individual, actual use of language in speech or writing by a person. While parole represents language in use, long is the underlying system that makes communication possible. So Sir argued that linguists should focus on long because it is the structured system that enables the production of parole. Sign, signifier, and signified. Sign, the basic unit of meaning in language, consisting of two parts. Signifier, the form that the sign takes e.g., a word or sound. Pattern, signified. The concept or meaning the signifier represents. So Sir emphasized that the relationship between the signifier and the signified is arbitrary, meaning there is no inherent or natural connection between the word signifier and its meaning signified. This concept is foundational for understanding how meaning is constructed and interpreted. Synchrony and diachrony. Synchrony, the study of a language at a specific point in time, a snapshot of the language's system at a given moment. Diachrony. The study of the evolution and historical changes of a language over time. So Sir advocated for a focus on synchronic analysis, examining language as a system in a particular time frame, rather than diachronic historical evolution. Structuralism. While So Sir did not use the term himself, his ideas laid the groundwork for structuralism. He argued that language is a system of relations and differences, where words derive meaning from their contrast with other words. Structuralism applies this idea to broader fields such as anthropology, literature, and culture, examining the underlying structures of human activity. Arbitrariness of the sign. So Sir's assertion that the relationship between the signifier, sound or written symbol, and the signified concept is arbitrary is one of his most groundbreaking ideas. There is no natural connection between the word, tree, and the actual object we perceive as a tree. Instead, meaning is produced by a system of differences within a language. Binary oppositions. Although developed further by later structuralist, Saussure's work implies that language operates through a system of binary oppositions such as presence-absence, male-female, life-death where meaning is derived from contrasting elements. These concepts have profoundly influenced not only linguistics but also philosophy, anthropology, literary theory, and cultural studies. So Sir's structuralist approach set the stage for post-structuralist critiques and further developments in semiotics. You said. Each with simple example words definition features. Chat GPT said. Chat GPT. Let's break down each of Ferdinand de Saussure's key concepts with simple explanations and examples. 1. Long and parole. Long. The structured system of language that everyone in a community shares, like grammar, rules, and vocabulary. Example. English grammar rules, like subject-verb-object sentence structure, e.g., the cat eats the fish. Parole. The individual use of language in actual speech or writing. Example. When someone says, I saw a black cat today, that's parole because it's one specific instance of using the language. Feature. Long is stable and shared by everyone, parole is personal and variable. 2. Sign, signifier, and signified. Sign. A combination of a signifier word or sound and signified the concept. Example, the word tree is the signifier and the concept of a tall, leafy plant is the signified. Sign equals tree signifier plus concept of a tree signified. Feature, the relationship between signifier and signified is arbitrary, no natural connection. 3. Synchrony and diachrony. Synchrony. Studying language at one specific time, as a static system. Example, looking at how people use the word, cool, to mean, fashionable, in 2024. Diachrony, studying how language changes over time. Example, tracing how the word, cool, has changed meaning from, cold, to, fashionable, over decades. Feature, synchrony looks at language as a snapshot, diachrony looks at its historical evolution. Four. Structuralism. Structuralism. 
the idea that meaning in language comes from the structure of relationships and differences between words. Example, the word, man, means something in contrast to, woman, and both get their meanings from their differences. Feature, language is a system where words are defined by their differences from other words. 5. Arbitrariness of the sign. Arbitrariness of the sign. The link between the signifier word and signified meaning is not natural but conventional. Example, there's no reason why the word, dog, refers to the animal. Other languages use different words, like, perro, in Spanish. Feature, no natural or logical connection exists between a word and what it represents. 6. Binary oppositions. Binary oppositions. Meaning is created through the contrast of opposite concepts. Example, the concept of, light, is understood in contrast to, dark, each gets its meaning from its opposite. Feature, words and ideas often gain meaning by being compared to their opposites. These simplified explanations and examples should help clarify each of Saussure's core ideas. You said, apply it in Pride and Prejudice as a literary theory. Chat GPT said, Chat GPT. To apply Ferdinand de Saussure's linguistic concepts to Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen as a literary theory, we can analyze how language, structure, and meaning work in the novel. Here's how Saussure's ideas can be applied. 1. Long and parole. Long, the shared system of language in Pride and Prejudice is rooted in the social conventions of Regency England. The rules of polite conversation, decorum, and the use of certain words to reflect social class, gender roles, and manners make up the long of the novel society. Example, the language used at balls or social gatherings reflects the long of polite society, like the subtle, indirect ways of expressing love or interest in marriage. Parole, each character's individual speech reflects their unique personality and social standing, which is their parole. Example, Mr. Darcy's reserved and formal way of speaking contrasts with Mr. Bingley's more open and cheerful speech. Elizabeth Bennett's witty and direct language often challenges the social norms, showing her individual expression parole within the constraints of societal language long. Application. Long in the novel reflects society's structured norms, while parole shows how individual characters navigate and sometimes challenge those norms. 2. Sign, signifier, and signified. Sign. In the context of the novel, many words and actions are signs that carry deeper meanings within the social structure. Example, the word, marriage, signifier in Pride and Prejudice carries different signified meanings for different characters. For Charlotte Lucas, marriage signifies security and stability, while for Elizabeth, it signifies love and mutual respect. Feature, the sign, marriage, is not just about the literal act of union but carries cultural meanings depending on the character. Application, key terms in the novel, like, marriage, and, wealth, carry different meanings depending on social context, revealing how Saucer's sign theory can unpack deeper social dynamics. 3. Synchrony and Diachrony. Synchrony, a synchronic reading of Pride and Prejudice focuses on the language and relationships at a specific point in time, revealing the social structure and norms of early 19th century England. For example, the language surrounding class and gender during the novel's time period can be studied as a fixed system. Example, the use of titles like, Mr., and, Miss., and the importance of inheritance, reflects a static system of social hierarchy. Diachrony, a diachronic approach looks at how Austen's language and societal critiques have evolved over time or how modern readers interpret certain themes differently. Example, the way we read Elizabeth Bennet's independence and wit may have changed, as today's readers might view her more as a proto-feminist figure than readers in Austen's time. Application A synchronic view shows the fixed societal norms, while a diachronic approach tracks changing interpretations of character roles over time. 4. Structuralism Structuralism The novel operates through systems of relationships, particularly in terms of social class, marriage, and gender. Meaning is derived from these relationships. Example, characters are defined by their relationships to others, Mr. Darcy's wealth and status mean little without being compared to Elizabeth's lower social standing. Similarly, the contrasts between the Bennett sisters, Elizabeth's intelligence versus Lydia's recklessness give each character meaning through opposition. Application, the novel's structure is based on binaries such as wealth, poverty, love, duty, and intelligence, foolishness. 
Meaning comes from these contrasts and relationships. 5. Arbitrariness of the sign. Arbitrariness of the sign. Many social practices and judgments in the novel are based on arbitrary signs, such as manners, wealth, or social connections, that people use to assign meaning to others. Example. Mr. Darcy's initial aloofness is interpreted by society as pride, even though his character is more complex. Similarly, Elizabeth is judged by her lower economic standing, which is an arbitrary sign of worth in her society. Application. The character's worth and relationships are often judged by arbitrary signs such as wealth, social status, or first impressions, reflecting the arbitrary nature of meaning in social systems. 6. Binary Oppositions. Binary Oppositions. The novel thrives on contrasts and oppositions, and meaning is constructed through these oppositions. Example. The contrast between Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy's initial pride prejudice is a central binary. Over time, this opposition breaks down as the characters learn to understand each other. Other oppositions include city, country, London versus rural life, and reason, emotion, Charlotte Lucas's s pragmatic approach to marriage versus Elizabeth's romantic ideal. Application. Binary oppositions like pride, humility, love money, and sense sensibility shape the narrative and reveal underlying social and emotional structures. By applying Saussure's linguistic theory to pride and prejudice, we gain a deeper understanding of how meaning is constructed through language, social structures, and relationships. These concepts allow us to see beyond the surface and explore the novel's complex dynamics of communication, society, and individual expression. You said. Significance Relevance Legacy Contribution Impact Strength and Weakness Uniqueness Now Past Future Chat GPT said. Chat GPT. Ferdinand de Saussure's Significance, Relevance, Legacy, Contribution, Impact, Strength, Weaknesses, Uniqueness in the Past, Present, and Future can be understood by looking at his role in shaping linguistics, literary theory, and cultural studies. 1. Significance. Saussure's work transformed the way language is understood. By focusing on the structural aspects of language long rather than individual speech parole, he shifted the study of language from its historical evolution diachronic to its functioning at a given moment synchronic. His ideas became the foundation for modern linguistics, semiotics, and structuralism. Example, his idea that the relationship between the signifier word and signified concept as arbitrary changed how we understand meaning making in language and culture. 2. Relevance. Saussure's theories remain highly relevant today. His ideas are applied across disciplines like linguistics, anthropology, cultural studies, and literary theory. They form the backbone of structuralism and influenced later movements like poststructuralism and deconstruction. Example, his theory of binary oppositions is still used in analyzing texts, societies, and ideologies by revealing how meaning is constructed through contrasts, e.g., male-female, good-evil. 3. Legacy. Saussure's legacy is profound. He is considered the father of modern linguistics and a key figure in the development of semiotics the study of signs. His work laid the groundwork for figures like Claude Lévi-Strauss in anthropology, Roland Barthes in literary theory, and Jacques Derrida in post-structuralism. Example. Derrida's deconstruction is built on Saussure's theory that language is a system of differences without fixed meanings. 4. Contribution. Saussure's so major contributions include structural linguistics. He conceptualized language as a system of signs. Semiotics. He laid the foundation for the study of signs and symbols. Binary oppositions. He introduced the idea that meaning is derived from the relationship between opposites. Example. His book Course in General Linguistics has shaped the way scholars understand how language influences thought and culture. 5. Impact. Saussure's impact is visible in multiple disciplines beyond linguistics. Structuralism, influenced by Saussure, provided tools to analyze literature, culture, and even society as systems of signs. His ideas have been key to the development of literary theory, particularly in the 20th century. Example, in literary analysis, Saussure's ideas help critics break down texts into their structural elements, exploring how meaning is created through language and symbol systems. Six strengths. Innovation. Saussure introduced groundbreaking ideas that shifted language studies from a historical focus to a structural, systemic one. Interdisciplinary reach. 
His concepts of long, parole, and the arbitrariness of signs had a far-reaching influence on philosophy, anthropology, psychology, and cultural theory. Example, his structural approach allows for a more precise understanding of how language and culture interact, as seen in anthropology and literary criticism. 7. Weaknesses. Limited focus on power and ideology, so Sir's work does not deeply explore how language is influenced by social power or ideologies. Static view of language. His emphasis on synchronic analysis sometimes neglects the dynamic, changing nature of language over time. Example. Marxist theorists critique Saussure for ignoring how language serves ideological functions and can reinforce social hierarchies. 8. Uniqueness. Saussure's unique contribution is his theoretical framework that sees language as a structured system of relations, where meaning is derived from the differences between signs, not the intrinsic nature of words themselves. This abstract approach was a departure from earlier philological studies, which focused on etymology and the evolution of language over time. Example, his idea that the connection between words and meanings is arbitrary was a radical departure from earlier ideas of language. 9. Influence in the past. In the early 20th century, Saussure's ideas were revolutionary. He shifted linguistics from a historical focus to a structural focus, influencing fields like anthropology with Levi-Strauss's S. Structuralism, Literary Theory, and Philosophy. Example, Saussure's ideas shaped the Prague linguistic circle and influenced Russian formalism, movements that dominated early 20th century thought. 10. Influence in the present. Saussure's concepts are still deeply embedded in linguistic studies, semiotics, and cultural theory. Post-structuralist like. Derrida and Foucault critically built on Saussure's work, particularly the idea that meaning is fluid and constructed through difference. Example, semiotics is widely used in media and cultural studies to decode signs and symbols in contemporary culture, advertising, and communication. 11. Influence in the future. Saussure's theories will likely continue to be influential, especially in understanding how digital and global cultures use signs and language. As technology and communication evolve, Saussure's ideas on how meaning is constructed could be applied to new contexts, like artificial intelligence or digital semiotics. Example, in a future where language is increasingly digital, Saussure's ideas may help explain how signs, like emojis or online symbols, create meaning in virtual spaces. Summary. Significance. Revolutionized linguistics and the study of language. Relevance. Foundational to modern linguistic, literary, and cultural analysis. Legacy, influenced structuralism, post-structuralism, and semiotics. Contribution, concepts of long, parole, signs, and arbitrariness. Impact, cross-disciplinary influence, shaping modern humanities and social sciences. Strength, innovated structural analysis of language. Weakness, lacked attention to power dynamics and social change in language. Uniqueness. His focus on the arbitrary nature of the sign and language is a system of differences. Past. Revolutionary in early 20th century intellectual thought. Present. Core ideas are still central to linguistic, literary, and cultural theory. Future. Likely to remain relevant, especially in digital culture and evolving communication methods. ChatGPT can make mistakes. Check important info.